I'll go ahead and open up for any questions you guys have. Uh, just general takeaways, impressions. I mean, what do you, what do you see, I think? Uh, I thought the defense flied around really well today, especially the back seven. Uh, you know, I've stated uh, several times, I think we've, we've got a really good uh, group of linebackers in, in secondary. And, um, you know, if you watch the whole thing, I think you saw them on display uh, today. They were running around, uh, making a lot of plays, both on the ball and in the run game. So, um, you know, offensively, we made some uh, mistakes that we can't make. Um, and unfortunately, we haven't been making those here in, in training camp until today. Ball was on the ground too much today. Uh, had a few snap issues, had some protection issues, things that uh, we've actually been doing pretty good uh, on during training camp, but they showed up today. So uh, we got a lot of work to do. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of positive things, but we've got a lot of work to do just to be able to consistently execute the routine things, being able to snap, hold, ball, secure the ball, catch the ball, you know, and not beat yourself uh, with the uh, pre-snap penalties. And some of those things crept up today. We haven't seen a ton of depth chart changes in the first eight or nine practices. Could this be a week going forward after you evaluate this tape where you can see some Um Maybe. There's a couple spots where there's an opportunity. But you know, uh, we knew coming into training camp the majority of the positions who was going to play. Um, it was just a matter of who was going to maybe get into a rotation uh, because you need the depth. Uh, there's probably a, a few spots that are, that are still, you know, obviously uh, being evaluated. Um, and I know you guys uh, will ask it eventually. I'm surprised it's taken so long about the quarterback. But, um, you know, there's uh, positions like that and uh, a few others that we're still evaluating. How do you think the two quarterbacks did today? Uh, good and bad. You know, there, there were uh, uh, ups and downs for both quarterbacks. Um, Going to have to really watch the film to see. You know, the, the mistakes or issues that came up offensively really where the initial breakdown came from. Uh, some of it's going to be on the O-line, some of it's going to be on the back, uh, maybe on the receiver, some it's going to be on the quarterback. But until we get a chance to sit and really watch the film, you know something happened just by being out here. Uh, but you really got to look at what happened, what was the mistake before you start saying it was this position or that position. Do you anticipate McLean getting first team reps going forward? Uh, I, I, I couldn't make that comment or comment about that question today, right now at this point until we watch the film. Um, we've got a, an off day tomorrow, a mandated off day, so we'll meet as a staff and go through personnel. We'll evaluate the film today, meet with the players today, and then we'll have a big personnel meeting tomorrow and uh, have some conversations about uh, the positions that are still uh, up for grabs and uh, what the plan is moving forward in terms of either um, giving another guy a look, uh, splitting reps, or, or, or uh, stick with what we've been doing for a little longer. Did any guys jump out and get down the field? Well, like I mentioned, the linebackers in secondary did. Uh, they did uh, pretty much all day. Um, at the end, uh, we got down in the red zone. The offense had some success running the ball down there. Got to figure out why we did pull some of the uh, uh, starting guys, the, the first string guys, when we got down there because they had enough reps. So, got to look at that. But um, for the most part, uh, our secondary and linebackers played really fast today. How about Malik Dixon vaulting his way up to the first team? Perhaps a safety has he looks, I guess, in camp. And what has he done to kind of uh, merit those reps? Uh, well, he's done a lot. Um, he's not uh, fully cleared yet medically. Um, he's pretty close. Um, he had sh shoulder surgery in spring. He got hurt in spring. Uh, but he's out here getting a lot of non-contact reps. And uh, Malik's got size, he's got speed, he's got athleticism. Chris Izian is another um, safety that's splitting time with him at that position. And they've both been going back and forth with the one. So uh, that's a position where, again, nothing's finalized yet. Uh, we've had two different individuals getting reps with the ones. Uh, I don't see that changing um, through this next week. Those, those guys will both still be going back and forth. Uh, but I've seen a lot of positive out of both of them. How was interacting with the fans during the autograph session? Oh, the fans are always great. The, the guys, the, the people that show up on a day like this are diehard uh, Rutgers fans. Beautiful uh, morning, um, great weather, great football. Um, just awesome to be able to interact with those guys. Noticed uh, Michael Clark in the stands with the fans. Uh, any update on him? Uh, no, he's got some uh, medical things, but no. And then uh, I noticed uh, also Trey Avery didn't play that much. Is he okay also? Yeah, he's okay. Just uh, we held some guys out at uh, this camp. Guys get banged up. Um, may need a couple days here or there based on uh, you know an ankle uh, soft tissue issue or something that's come up. But uh, um, the only injury uh, note that I, I will mention uh, to you guys, like uh, always, that there's a long-term deal. Uh, Montario Hunt suffered an ACL injury a few days ago. Uh, he will miss the season. Uh, it was a non-contact uh, deal. He went up to catch a ball, came down, 
uh, landed a little awkward and uh, knee buckled, and, and uh, it was confirmed the other day that he had torn his ACL and that will be out. And it's a uh, you know tough loss uh, for our team, but uh, really tough for him because he's worked really, really hard uh, to try to get himself physically developed since he's been here. He's worked hard in the classroom. Uh, we really thought he was going to have a chance to help our team. From a uh, wide receiver perspective, Isaiah Washington, Davon Robinson, are they, could they be the home run press that you kind of need as offense? Um, Potentially, it's it's too early to say that yet. Um, that that room has progressed a lot. Uh, it still has a lot of work uh, to do to become a, a finished product. Uh, some individuals uh, have to step up for us to be able to say, hey, they're going to be you know home run threats. Uh, I do think that those guys are going to be consistent targets. Um, are they going to be necessarily down the field uh, home run threats? I don't know about that. Uh, but they are going to be big body targets with uh, good hands that, that run good routes that I think are going to help us move the sticks. Two more questions. So you guys, that right guard spot, um, I saw you working with Taylor, is that spot still open? Uh, how do you no, see that no. Nick Crimmins has been number one all spring and all fall. Um, that, that won't change unless something happens. Ron Johnson, are you guys any closer? No update going? yet on him. It's still some academic uh, stuff. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than, than uh, we had originally anticipated, but. Uh, you know, it's not on our end, it's, it's things uh, on the other end that have to be taken care of. Is Michigan DJ playing Ron? games, in your opinion? You just said, oh, no, playing yeah. games. I mean, do you think it's Michigan, it's, I didn't know if you said that, that's all. No, he's going to be a grad transfer. Okay. Uh, so there's, you know, he's, he's got to yeah. graduate. They got, they're just To graduate, uh, there's paperwork that has to be done. There's things that have to be finalized. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's nobody playing the games. Uh, TJ Robinson had one, technically two picks, if you count the one that didn't fall, fall back. Uh, what do you think of him today? Uh, it kind of fits, it, like I mentioned earlier, the DBs were flying around pretty good today. Mm -hmm. uh, he was one that uh, was active in around the ball. Uh, and trying to make some plays. Um, I've really liked what I've seen out of him so far in training. He's going to be a really good player. Uh, I don't know what this year uh, will look like for him. Maybe he can get involved in some special teams, but he's got a bright future, and every day he's always around the ball, always making plays. Final question, nothing on Langan? No, nothing. Yep, nothing. Hopefully uh, this early this next week we'll hear something. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Right. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Take good. care. Thanks,